Morning. What's up? Coffee time. Yep. And then the cream. Dang, you need all that creamer, bro? Yeah, dude, you can't even coffee black. It doesn't taste good. It's not even coffee no more. It's all watered down. You need that strong kick. Dude, I, I need my bitter sweetness. This is hazelnut and it's delicious. No, you need that strong, all natural, sexy, tall, curvy, black coffee. Something tells me this conversation just circulated around a woman. It did. But also coffee. Well, I like a little mocha in my coffee, and you may like your, your coffee black, I like mine a little brown. Black coffee matters, I mean, man. I it matters, creamer. too. Just a little creamer. I heard coffee. Can I get some? Morning, guys. Coffee. Kind of coffee you want. As long as it's smuggled from the rebel Colombian mountains, I'm good. Black. Hit me. Black. Right, yeah, that's what I was saying. Alright, guys, we're back. Break Room Blitz. Thanks for watching. I'm your boy DeAnthony. I'm my boy Don. What's up? And my boy Conj over there. Hola. Alright, so think about our shirts this time. Yeah, that one's dope. Dead to represent. Cool. So patriotic. Alright guys, so we just came back from seeing Birth of a Nation by uh, pretty much Nate Parker did everything. Writ wrote it, directed it, produced acted, it, acted it. He yeah. was a star in it. Uh, so I appreciate you, bruh. Yeah, man. I appreciate awesome. you. I never thought this awesome. movie was going to awesome. come to uh, fruition for Talk sure. about making a movie happen. Yeah. Definitely. Mm -hmm. um, so, if you guys don't know, it's about the Nat Turner slave insurrection. Pretty much, Nat Turner was a slave who decided he didn't want to be a slave anymore. And he ended up, you know, rebelling and came up with a, uh, like a, a slave rebellion. Um, so, this is just one of the slave rebellions that happens all over, that happened all over the country. Uh, and that was, this is his story. So, um, we'll just get right down into it. Um, this is our non-spoiler version or part right. of the thing i'll start if you guys don't mind absolutely yeah. i loved it you know I, I like i said i never thought this movie was gonna come to fruition i thought that it was gonna rub america the wrong way um so i just thought it was never gonna happen uh, like i said it's a lot of history that we don't get to you know know about and honestly i think it's miseducation on both sides for you know african americans and Europeans and if we can just come together we could probably talk about these issues so I definitely appreciated the movie it was a lot of emotion for me um, I, I don't know everything about Nat Turner so I don't know if how accurate it was as far as like the little details but I mean to me it was vivid it it showed a lot of courage because honestly I don't know what I would do if I was in that time you know so because honestly obviously I would be a slave but um, I don't know how I would feel. I don't know what I would do. You know, so when I see stuff like that, you know, I appreciate, you know, someone that looks like me that would, you know, rise, you know, for righteousness, you know, and kind of overcome those evil um, inequalities. And so I just really liked it. It, it. it definitely touched me. It wasn't exactly what I wanted to see, but it was as close as I think I'm ever going to get. So I really liked it. If I had to rate it, I would probably give it a 9 out of 10. Um, there was maybe some things that I didn't like, um, but as far as like a movie, I gave it about a 9 out of 10. Yeah, uh, I mean, I, I would have to agree with you, all of that and more, you know, it's just, it, was a, it was an excellent movie. I, I absolutely loved it. Uh, these actors in the movie were incredible, you know, uh, they, they did the period piece right. I feel for where they even kept mm -hmm. that movie. Um, so, uh, you know, all across the plantations, they give you like really great filmography, give you a really sense of where they're coming from. And man, it like really broke my heart a lot of these times, just like seeing what they, like just a, a this was just like a, a glimpse of what I could only imagine what actually went down, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I mean, like I got a ton of goosebumps throughout the entire movie. Uh, the acting was on point. Um, and really, I mean, it was just like, you know, they, they lifted your spirit. I mean, uh, they followed Nate Turner or N Nat Turner uh, throughout this entire story of, you know, from, 
you know, when he, he was like speaking the gospel and he was like really rallying the rest of, you know, his people. And, you know, that to me just like lifted me up. Like a, a, every emotion behind uh, his acting was on point. I, they need to give this movie a nomination oh, yeah. more than anything <clears throat> yeah. of the Academy. If this doesn't get realized by the Academy, I don't know what will at this point. Um, so, I mean, Oscar Sorry. nomination coming through for Nat. Either, like you said, he wrote it, directed it, he acted in it. <laughs> I mean, he's got he a lot of tickets anything. in it. I mean, he's, he, you know? Yeah, he so, I mean, he, 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 did, he did a lot of uh, work for this movie to get it to the big screen. I really appreciated it. So, you rate it? If I had to rate it, I definitely have to give it like a 9 out of 10. Because, like, I was, the whole time I was watching the movie, it made me cringe. It, it was, like, just, like, giving me goosebumps, like I said. And I was just, like, I, I was amazed by it. It was just, like, you know, one of those movies that really hits, you know, hits you hard. Yeah. Yeah, so. Um, so, I mean, I can definitely, you know, touch base on everything you guys talked about. I guess I'll try to try to go on some stuff that um, I felt very personally connected to. But it had everything. Um, Jackie Earl Haley, who played Raymond Cobb, he was pretty much the, the villain. He gave me my hero to villain complex. I always bring that up. And he was he was very close, at least in my mind, what a arrogant, and this could probably sound horrible, but arrogant white man would have been like back in the day when he wasn't just taking his head out of his butt. Maybe I should just stand up for where I stand on this right now. But um, it's just arrogance and stupidity, and I find it stu just ridiculous that a skin color you know, trademark somebody. And, I, you know, this movie hit me on a very personal level because I just do not like that mentality under any circumstances. And, um, you know, Nat, I, I, one thing that I didn't, I, I, not that I didn't like it, um, it just sucks, is can you imagine how much he could have changed the world if people weren't so stupid? Yeah. Like, and, and I'm just sitting here going, he was a good man, and he was put in a position, and, and it's just like, Why? Why, why did that, that that's just ridiculous. Like, this man could have benefited us and advanced us as a civilization. And, y you know, y y this is what happens. And it really sucks because there are many good men in this world who are opposed by arrogance instead of equalized so we can move together as a, as a, as a unit and progress, not digress as a society. And so um, looking at this movie just really hit me on all of those levels because I definitely believe in a positive output in our society. And it sucks to see that we still haven't learned. And, um, you know, uh, Nate Parker, by all means, the guy went above and beyond to make this movie happen. And again, a shout out to you completely and everyone that casted in this and, and did it sent the right message. And um, yeah, I, I, you know, it's getting a 10 for me. Wow. It hit, it, it, they had comedic value, yeah, character yeah. development, hero to villain complex, great compelling story. The, even the music was good. I'm, I'm, I'm not knocking it. I really enjoyed the film. Mm -hmm. And, it, you know, I just... That's how I feel about it. Wow. It was all together one hell of a film. Yeah, go. and before we go to our actual review, I just want to say I appreciate you guys for even opening up your ears and your eyes and even listen to what is going on or what happened or the reason why this... I guess the country is in such a divide... You know, because a lot of times, as an African-American, we don't get hurt, or we're like, oh, man, they're still crying, oh, they're still, it's 22, 2016, but these things did happen, they do affect us, it's, it's been true. happening on and on and on and on, it's not just like, it just disappeared, mm -hmm. you know, we have, you know, we have the slavery, you it know, hasn't we have been that the long Jim Crow, and we have all these yeah. laws that, you know, pretty much put African-Americans and, and, and Brown in in jail and in a, in a system where they can't, you know, be the best that they probably could have. Right. You know, so I definitely appreciate you guys. I wanted to definitely say that they've, they've gone. I, I pretty much, I don't want to say I make, but I make sure we try to watch African-American movies, definitely. you know, um, and they could say no or I'm not interested or whatever, but they actually was open to it and I appreciate it. Nate Parker. Do your thing, man. Awesome. awesome. Wish you the best. You, yeah. Appreciate you. I can't wait to see you. Everyone should really be out. seeing this. You yeah. know, it, it's, it's, I think it's important for the nation to see it. Especially right now. We have to talk you know, about yeah. these issues. We right can't now. just keep throwing it underneath the rug. You know, so I would definitely say everyone needs to go see it. It's relevant right now. You know? Definitely. So, that is our break room blitz. Spoiler free. Spoiler free. Now, if you guys don't, if you guys don't want any details, turn it off. I, I would encourage that you didn't, because I think you should stick around, because you love us, right? Yeah. We you love us. Break room. Right.
All right. <laughs> so, I just want to say this acting was on oh, yeah. par. It was on. It was. They're crying. It was great, man. Like, on on cue. Yeah, man. I'm like, his tears just like pouring out, yeah. like someone was squirting them out. I was like, oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. But it must be a very emotional type of movie to make. Of course. What do you guys think? Their acting was just so fluid. It was it was on there. I felt impactful. I was just like. Like I said, I was getting goosebumps, and I was just like really feeling it. I was getting like, you know, like, like grossed out by a lot of the stuff that was going down, and you know, it was like very yeah, vivid like, imagery, you know. Yeah. When his wife got raped yeah. and beat up, and he's looking at her, I can't even imagine like everything that the, it took. The anger, right? right to yeah. not kill everyone in right. a facility who looked. Yeah. Like just like, just let me know who it is. <laughs> let me know who it is. Tell me who it was. Yeah. Right. And that was his so performance hard. there, like the emotional response, it was just like, you can tell he had an inner struggle. Like it was legit. Like his acting by far, like everyone in this movie, but just like you said, the, the, the tears, the way he reacted, I mean, it's like he literally put himself there. They, yeah. they, they, they just broke him down yeah. throughout this entire movie, you know? When when you see him, like, become, you know, a man, and, like, he's, like, learning the gospel, and he's preaching, you know? He, he They show him, like, in all these different scenes where he's, like, a very strong man and, like, a leader, you know? Right. Mm -hmm. And then they do something, and it just, like, chops him down, you know? Whether it be, like, the, the when they gave him all those lashings, and then, like, he came back and he was stronger. And then that thing happened to his wife. And then, like, they broke him down again. Yeah. And, like, it was just like, you know, like they say, you know, one step forward, two steps back. It's right. just I don't like, know how man. accurate it was, but when he's going to the different plantations and yeah. they're seeing how the other slaves are treated, yeah. he's like, oh, shit. Yeah. Like, he's like, I can't even believe this is how they're being treated here. Yeah. I don't know how he was treated. I should really read up on him more mm -hmm. i know of him and you know things that he did but as far as like how he lived i don't know mm -hmm. but at least for the movie part i think they did a good job of showing why he became who he became it was a glimpse like, yeah he's like what in the hell is going on like, right i need to get this needs to end mm -hmm. today yeah you know and it, it was it was really um emotional for me because i can't imagine anyone having me tied up in a barn right chipping my teeth away Right, yeah. like, oh, I don't even like going to the dentist. Yeah, you know? no, and that, I was just like, oh man, and then like, yeah. Oh. It just got worse and worse because yeah. so basically they send them off to these you know different uh, plantations to preach uh, for the uh, the slave owners, and to he get was supposed them in to line he, to he, get he, their he, slaves in line. Yeah, he was to preach for their slaves. Yeah, yeah to right. to like submit yourself to the word of God, and the word of God says you know to submit yourself to your you know. Uh, slave owners because they provide you with all this, you know? Right. And you know, one thing I did like about that but, is, um, so a lot of people do say that they use the Bible to push slavery. You know, you should be um, submissive to your slave masters, even the, uh, um, I would say, aggressive ones. Yeah. You know, and, and a lot of people do say that, which is another reason why they say they don't like Christianity. But I liked how they gave you both sides. It does say that. Yeah. But there are rules of how you should be treating your slaves. And it's not a forever, lifetime thing. Right. It's a kind of just like, you don't have any work, you want to come work for me, now you're my servant. That's what slavery right. was back then in the Bible. Mm -hmm. So when he says there's a lot of other uh, scriptures that talk about freedom. Uprise. I love yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. uprise against you know your oppressor kind right. of. You know, if, if you're being oppressed, you, you, you get to stand up for yourself. Right. Because you know? yeah. cause you're still a child of God. You know? Correct, and so. he was actually feeding them hope on that that note because the thing is, whereas to you know they're taught one thing, and they're restricted on what they're capable of doing, no knowledge doesn't help them to strive for something more. And he was this embodiment of knowledge to deliver to them, and he used right. the word to deliver to them. And the word is a strong tool; it gives you a sword. You know, and that's what it is. That's what the Bible is in context. And when he was preaching that one that one scene where he. He felt it, and you felt his words, and their reactions just started hitting. Right, right. You just saw it. Like, I'm just, I was just, you know, like, wow. Like, Another thing I like about that scene yeah. is it speaks to the, um, I guess, the secret codes that the slaves had to use, because if they said things that the master would understand, they would be in trouble. Exactly. So as he's preaching, he's preaching things they never even heard, and, he's, and they're thinking, oh, well, this is what they need to, you know, Get that juice to be a better slave, but really, it was getting them that getting them past that mindset of 
slavery, and they're looking up like, who is this guy? Right. Yeah. And they don't even they don't even see. They don't even know. No. So I, I, it it spoke to that whole um, I guess the secrecy that the, the slave had to have right. in order to communicate. I thought that was pretty awesome. Yeah, there was yeah. that underlying lingo that they completely understood. And right. And and rather than like, because he he did give like a, a one reading uh, to a, a group of uh, slaves that was like more submissive. The first time around, and they showed us another group of slaves that he saw were like being really badly treated, right. and then that's when he gave that you know inspiring speech, you know, right. kind of lifted their spirits without you know letting the you know slave owner right. actually know. Right. So I mean, yeah, when he gave those speeches too, man, that's when I got those goosebumps. Yeah, he, I was just like, <laughs> yeah that's right, like, man. He, he was saying it with a purpose. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm like, I'm not even in there. I feel like I need to get up and do some right. stuff. <laughs> yeah. Exactly, right? <laughs> like, he's not even talking to me. Yeah. But, but it's easy for me to connect with that because, like, I could have been born, you know, uh, 150 years ago. Mm -hmm. And right in the mix, you know, so picking cotton and everything. And uh, it just is like, man, I wish that this world could be a lot better. Or it could be more accurate to how good it tries to seem. Yeah. Because it's really not. Yeah. You know, at least that's in my is. eyes. Right. You know, because I, I, I see it differently. So... I'm like man, I wish it could just this could have never even happened, you know? Because they, when um, the slave master's uh, wife takes Nate or, or Nat as a as a little boy and says, you know, I want to teach him how uh, to read because if God gave him the ability mm -hmm. to read, then we who am I to stop him from doing it? Exactly. As if we all can't read, like no, we all can read. Yeah. Just give me a Give book. a chance, right. right? Exactly. You know, but that's the miseducation I, I feel. Exactly. Like, you know, on both on both sides. Yeah. You know, someone told them to be to to to, to think like that. Like right. Negroes can't read, so why even give them a book? And even when they when she gives him the Bible, yeah. he goes to look at the encyclopedias on the on the on the shelf. Like, oh have. no, that's not for you. Right. Yeah. You wouldn't it's understand like, it anyway. What? Yeah. Right. Th there's like, words. Like, but too. I'm going to give you right. this book. This is the best book. Right. So yeah. it showed that they were so. I don't want to say the miseducation. At that point, that's more like ignorance. You know, if he can read one book, he can read another. Of course. You know, so then you kind of like, oh, no, that's not for you. But I mean, if you, it, like, those are facts and science. I'm going to teach you about religion, you know? Right. <laughs> it's right. like, yeah. No. So I, I really liked how they, they showed how they got married. You know, I liked how he right. actually connected with that young woman right right away. Yeah. Right. You know, I don't know. I, I love love. You know, so when I see stuff like that, it's like, you know what? That is her. That is who... That's mine right there. Right, I gotta right, get yeah, her. Yeah, I love it. That doesn't happen anymore. You say you say you say I like you at the wrong time. You're not getting the number. You're not gonna be with her at it all. It's so complicated. Right. <laughs> so I just I just like this like, a lot. It's like you you gotta like her, but you can't tell her that you like her, and you gotta be like not interested that you like her, and then right. she'll like you. Right. And that's like, how you get the is. number. You're not allowed to call her at all. Yeah. And then you gotta call her a couple days later, and if she doesn't answer. And you don't call her, no. Yeah, because then you'll be ostracized like, oh, you're thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> right. So that, that part, uh, it's always, love is always going to connect with me. So I, just, I was like, man, it's, it's a simpler time. Even though there's so much shit going on, right. they can still There's find still the beauty. ability yeah. to love. And he rode out of his way. Like, was, oh, she went, yeah. she went, you know, to like some other town. And he was just like, damn, I let her go without even kissing her or nothing. You know, I didn't do nothing. Right. So he rode in there with the horse and just walked right up to her. She's like, what are you? And then, mm, right. <laughs> laid it on her. Well, that, and that's what I, like, like, I was going to touch base on that, too, was just the fact that, like, it's that sense that sense of, you know, like, he just, he saw her. And not only that, but he saw her in one of the worst states. And he yeah. still found the beauty in her. And, like, oh, yeah, just, initially, yeah. Yeah. And Two I just, times. Yeah. Right. And, and just overall, like, I just, I miss that um, traditional characteristic in, in, in meeting you know, someone, you know, yeah. it's just, it's just really interesting with the words. You know. he, he saw something that yeah. wasn't, uh, wasn't there. You know? There's a, another interesting thing I wanted to bring up to kind of make people think, okay, so one thing I started doing after the movie, is I started cross evaluating. So the reason why I was talking earlier during the, the blitz, you know, how, you know, he, where he could have been. The funny thing is like, if you really think about what is happening now and, and what will happen in that movie, if you put modern clothes on them and put them in modern times, it is no different from what's happening now. Oh, You're yeah. getting persecution you're getting um, riots, you're getting people dying, and it's. I'm sitting here thinking, like, I'm looking at a mirror of modern time. Yeah, I mean, and I just, I'm like, 
It's a revolution. It sucks. You know? like, I mean, <laughs> yeah, it's so funny that a lot of people think that it just went away because of 2016. Like, no. this is, 2015 was the same as 2014, as 2013, as 1993, as 1866 when we became, well, actually 65 when we became free. So, there's no, but people just want to, like, oh, it doesn't matter. Oh, this is. Uh, no, no, no. Things are better now. But it's really not. That's why, honestly, mm-hmm. I support uh, Kaepernick for kneeling. Or uh, He can sit down for all I care. He can sit down. I don't care. Because, I, and you know what? The Star Spangled Banner is one of my favorite songs to sing. Always have been. Always felt something it's when so epic, playing right? sports. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, but right. when you're going to treat us as if we are, you know, second class citizens right. or refugees, yeah. then I can't stand up. And participate as if everything is okay. Right. Mm-hmm. And I wish they would just listen to why he's doing it mm-hmm. and not what it could be doing. He's not, he says, I'm not trying to disrespect anybody. Mm-hmm. This is just because there's so much police brutality and violence and deaths that are unchecked or unprosecuted that I, I have to send up in, in some way. We you mentioned know? So it. I appreciate it because the same, you said, the same the stuff is happening. Go ahead we got to make a change. Right. Really yeah. it it's it's not working. It's the sad thing, you know, it's it's like it was right right on slavery, especially when the Native Americans were like, 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 every day, really? Every day? Like, how many times a week are we going to go through this? It's not only like one race. Like, that's what I'm saying. There's to carry with each other. On a hierarchy, now that symbol is being deteriorated. Secondary is it's not being racist to anyone. You know, Mexican Spanish. It's just like, and it's just like, so what you're saying. Yeah. In the like beginning, this, when you did it against my race, you couldn't work history. That, you just progressively so did it to every single race growing up because you just couldn't. It's the simplest thing. Part of my French. To, but I just it's like one another. The irony in it. It's just like a global and, thing. Which is why I just, love that he did yeah. this movie. Yeah. Yeah. I can, can go like for days on this. Yeah, I mean, walk, walking out of the movie, I really just felt like open up some like maybe it broke me down because it was a lot to take in. You can step into someone else's shoes. Ultimately, see how they feel. You know, because if you never do that, you're always going to. Uh, you're always not going to understand they why someone a lot of innocent slaves caring just, about you know, certain just things. Just because like, they don't want their rights. Why, yeah. why is he They had the numbers. Why is he saying this? Why is he saying that? Why is he saying that? But if, if you never they think about it, like, and what is he, who slaves, is he really? Children, what has he experienced over his lifetime? He's not just even rights up against them. He's like, just for the He's in the moment. He is in tune with the present situation. Come around and, you know. He's just not like showing up to a game and bullying against their slave owners. I guess they're oppressors. He's showing up. You know, he, they, he has just, like you know, such a so background. He, he turned himself on. You know, right? so and if you can watch stop, this movie and you, know? you get yeah, and that kind of comes to see yourself, like, things that didn't like, like that. Maybe I should. Um, maybe so I should when they're in like, yeah, that's wrong. Right. 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 I would not want that to happen to me. I wouldn't want to do that. So pretty much they were, you know, it's like back and forth, gathering more slaves. Right. They're trying to get to this armory. Right. So once. They you have can't put, their mini wars going to rise up unless they start um, rising They get up. into this Kaepernick, you know, bunker. Originally, when I first saw that, I, I they, they think they're going to get some guns. guns. Right, they open up a box of guns, and, and it's just stumps. And, and there's nothing in there, and the army is pretty much waiting for it. I don't like how they just let you can see the inner yeah. struggle in him. Um, like, if you just watch it, like no one's getting out of it. You can tell, but he's not easy. And the fact that he did, ah, it's like it's cold right there. Maybe they they should have went through the back because the cannon like, that they shot this in the sense, bunker, like there's logic the maybe could have made a hole in the back. No, that's what happened. That's what happened. That's what happened. There's a voice there. There's a meaning. The military had him surrounded. They brought a cannon. Don't even say anything at all. I thought he went around the It's his right. He went out the back. He went out the back. Just leave it alone. Yeah. Also, no, he's right. Right. Ultimately, he's right. Right. Yeah, I thought when I was watching this, he had the same yeah. walking But I can see why. It was right. kind of distracting. Not to mention, but, uh, I mean, yeah, a while was a lot of smoking smoke and everything. Did Bennett in school, so why not just get rid of it all together? That killed one of his last friends. So he was really the last one alive, basically. I love my flag. He's Victor Strand. Yeah, but it has the sand for some reason. It does. It did. And that's the thing we knew about it. I couldn't believe it. Like, he just felt like he just should have been there or something. Like, he lived back in that time or something. Like, he was really good. Yeah. I really, I, I liked his performance. I liked that there was Gabrielle Union in there. That was a surprise. Right, we got us a, a kind of like an A-lister in there yeah, and not, yeah. you know, just no-namer. So I appreciate her throwing her name out on there, you know, just yeah. to give it a little more push. Yeah. So his mom, she does, she's in a couple other slave shows, um, the, Book of, the Book of Negroes, which is about the slavery, the, the slaves that went to Nova Scotia in Canada that supposedly got free and... The, what they went through, even though they thought they were going to be free, they really weren't. Even when the um, 
the uh, mother of the white slave owner, the one that was going to teach him, was like, he's going to come live in the big house now, you know, and I'm going to teach him. She was just like, oh, you're taking my kid, you know? Because you never know what's going to happen. Because exactly. honestly, if you read, I don't even know what's going on here. White people that just want to teach slaves how to read, I don't <laughs> ever heard of that. But, I mean, apparently he got to know how to read somehow. But the fact that she was just like, oh, yeah, come on, let's do it. She was so scared because she, so she, when she said, so I scared. heard that he can read. Oh, no, he don't be reading. Yeah. Because you, that's the penalty of death. You yeah. know how to read, you're dying. You know, so you don't want anyone to know that your son can read. So the fact that they were talking, even when they were bringing him to the slave, the other slave uh, places, yeah. um, he was like, he can read. My my slaves can barely even, can't even write their own name. Right. Yeah. Like, he would kill them if they did. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. So that, that was so, those are some things that yeah. I didn't like, that I thought were kind of like uh, misconstrued there. Because I'm like, mm, I don't know about that. Yeah. They don't want them to be able to write their names for one. Another thing I didn't like was the the little boy when he was not as a little boy he had no right. personality. Yeah, he was less, uh, like, I, he, I don't think he said a word, you know. But I mean, um, other than when like he yeah. actually started reading, but like you know he was just very quiet at the very beginning, didn't mm -hmm. say a word. I didn't like that. It was no no personality at yeah. all. Like I, I didn't get a sense of fear. He was just straight faced. You yeah, know? yeah. He so was I feel like they could have been. That's why they got a nine. Uh, because of some of the things I felt weren't correct. Yeah. And that little boy could have did a lot better. But overall, it was a great movie, I would yeah. say. Mm -hmm. I would definitely say everyone needs to go watch it. You, you need know. to watch it. Just, you know what, it might make you uncomfortable, but just try to put yourself in someone else's shoes. Just try to, to just make it, just make yourself a better person. Look at us. You know, we, we're different colors, but, yeah. you know, we're still friends. You know, we do this every single week. You know, it's not a big deal. You know, it doesn't matter what our color is. You know, it's all about what we bring to the table. Yeah, you right. know, so, yeah. like it I also, said, I appreciate these yeah. two guys. It also comes down to respect, because so, that's just the biggest yeah. thing. Like, I, I, I think we've gotten to plenty of debates about, it. you know, me and you. We've, we've definitely had discussions. Yeah, I've had about discussions. I have to hear the these thing. guys. <laughs> <laughs> but it comes down to one of those things. It's like, I mean, if, if he, he liked Trump and I like Hillary... At one point, I'm not going to say, well, you should be Hillary. No, I'm going to be like, all right, that's what you do, man. But I still I, I still love you. I'm still, I'm going to be there back you. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and it's just, I, you still get my mutual respect. You believe in what you believe, and you're standing up for what you believe in, just like I am. Why am I going to narc you for that? There's no reason for it. Yeah. In the end of the day, we're still brothers. I will still back you up when it comes down to anything. That's how it works. Yeah. So, so you guys think that everyone should be seeing that? Yeah, I mean, I like, it's very if, important. If, yeah. if you're having a hard time right now, and you know, you think that you got your first world problems, you watch this movie, it's gonna humble you very quickly. <laughs> yeah, and you know, this is it's still going on in other countries. Like, I mean, there's so many, so much going on, and um, it, it, yeah. it gives you perspective. There's some kind of oppression by you know some hierarchy everywhere. There is you know, and you know whether it's a refugee, like we got all those you know different bombings in Syria that I'm seeing every day, and it's like you know we we got to think about you know where we're going as a human race because mm -hmm. I mean. Ultimately, we're, we're, we're going to be out of here and we're only going to leave our future behind, you know, yeah. which is, you know, the kids, you know, and like, what world do we want to build for them ultimately? Yeah. You know, you got to think beyond yourself and where you're going to be oh, in the next couple of years. That's point that you brought up because when Nate and his slave master was kids, they were about the same age. They were, they were playing. They were kids. They were, they were yeah. friends. So, I mean, it's, it, and that goes to show you that like all of this is taught, you know? Definitely taught. And, 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 and you know, you, you're, you're taught to, you know, that, you know, this race is no good or this race is inferior or whatever it is. And, and as a kid, you guys just want to play. It's like, yeah, hey, man, right. you want to go outside? Yeah, let's go. And All right, cool. Be hugging yeah. and stuff, and it's yeah. not even a big deal. Yeah. That's why I never, I don't, I don't understand it because I just like people. There's nothing wrong with having pride in who you are and your history and your heritage. It's good to know where you're coming from. Right. But there's no need for me to say, you know, one one race is better than the other. You know, so we all have our weaknesses. We all have our strengths. We yeah. all need each other, honestly. Yeah. We're yeah. all here, yeah. so we need each other. Yeah. So, and I, that's what I think that, that everyone should be. Everyone should be like that. We all need each other. Yeah. Nothing wrong with loving who you are mm -hmm. and where you come from. No. You know, but... I love culture. Right. I love food. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, you really need to just respect one another and may, hopefully we can be a better better country for it. Yeah, yeah absolutely. absolutely. Yeah, because, I mean, it, I, like, just one thing that I do, and we talked about this too the other day, was the fact that, you know, when you have kids and I have kids, you know, we, we have these moral beliefs that when we want to bring them up, and this is just something to, to this is something I thought about when mm -hmm. after after I watched this movie, is in current mm -hmm. modern times, there are kids my age are you know younger than me going out and doing riding on the street and they're getting hurt, and I'm sitting there thinking I'm gonna teach my kid 
to respect others and, and to not discriminate. And what's sad is I have to be a parent at home in the future wondering if my kids out there on the streets rioting for the same freaking thing that we've been rioting for for the past several decades. It's like, I don't want to do that. I, I, I would That's a scary rather, thing, yeah. for sure. You know, because it's, it's people, just, like you said, like people say, you know, the good guys always finish last, you know, and when you're trying to stand up for righteousness, you can get hurt. Yeah. You can be banned. You can be fired. You can be beat up. You know, you can be ridiculed. You know, it's... It's a dangerous thing to stand up, you know, for what's right. And mm -hmm. I don't know what I would do. You know, my son's two, and I'm like, I, you need to stand up for, you know, what's right, stand up for who you are, mm -hmm. you know, but I don't want that call either. You know, that he so tries to help someone and end up, you know, dying before, yeah. you know, so it's really hard. And that's yeah. scary, guys. And that's why just, the, the, you know, bringing in the equality, you know, it doesn't matter what race, religion, sex you are it's just it's leveling it out and saying you know what you're who you are and i respect that and it doesn't matter on any level just it's a mutual respect and understand that we're all equal in our own shape and way and it should be respected um so we definitely should go watch it yeah, yeah we all liked it everyone should watch yeah. it yeah uh, I, 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 I highly recommend it yes yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. i encourage you to watch it it's going to be something I, I do purchase as far as a dvd i want that on my shelf so mm -hmm. you know my kids can see what it was like as well so yeah. um I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing you know uh nat parker or nate parker yeah come up in the nominations for the academy i hope so i don't think it will but he, he just because he's a creative man just all last year he, so. he, he's just so creative there's got to be something if this doesn't do it for the year i mean th there's only a handful of movies that i can think of when you talk about dramas this is definitely the one that comes up yeah yeah you know well you know what i think it would probably come up with BT Awards. Um, sometimes you gotta just appreciate your own people appreciating you. So I appreciate you, man. If you don't get an Oscar, so what? Man. They, they're they outdated. Who cares about that? You know? <laughs> so I appreciate you. Yeah. Give it definitely a good shout out. Can't wait to see you in more stuff. I wish yeah, you the man. best. So. Yeah, man. Good All right. Work. We're Breaking Room Blitz. Yeah. Uh, like, subscribe, share us. Comment. We we want all the feedback. Uh, all the other content get. we have. We got a lot of other content on there. Yep. Check us out on our uh, new um, Instagram page, yep. Break Room Blitz. Uh, our Twitter, Break Room Blitz, as yeah, well. We'll put the links at the bottom of the description here. Yep. And um, we're out. I'm DeAnthony. I'm on. Mr. Conch here. Peace. All right, peace, Take guys. I don't care. My bladder doesn't have a time limit. Uh, 50 feet down, down the, the hallway. Shirt. You saw me <laughs> I, walking. I, I just came 50 feet up the elevators. Yeah. 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 You know what? Prove it. We're going to re-raise. Okay. Re-raise. Okay. This is your fault. Bam. What's that? Empty poster holder. <laughs> There's no what? Let's go.